Hello and welcome to General Partition's Commercial Restroom Configurator demonstration. And the purpose of this demonstration is to show how quickly uh, sales related documents can be generated by the system, that is drawings, fully dimensioned layout drawings, uh, elevations, and uh, a accurate estimates of the, of the project. Uh, this is our opening screen. You can either select Open Project, which we would open up an existing project to either reprint or make some changes. In our case, we'll go with New Project, and we'll call this 03 Training. Uh, we'll give it an order number that's uh, fictitious, as well as a uh, we'll select a fictitious agent and customer, and the system automatically fills in those blanks there. And uh, we'll give it a contact and a general contractor. Hit continue. We'll go with men one. Hit continue. And we'll go with powder coated steel. Uh, we'll go with terracotta as our color. We'll go with standard hardware for both brackets, doors, and hinges, which in this case means Zamac. We'll select headrail braced. Uh, these are the families of layouts between wall and corner corner with corner units, which means it's effectively an in-corner with two stall depths, a between wall two stall depths, freestanding, which also comes in two stall depths, as does the alcove in corner and between wall, single alcove, and what we call a side alcove, which is where the first uh, stall is too large for the standard pilaster panel, pilaster configuration. So we'll go with between wall, and we'll select the right-hand origin. Number of stalls will be four. Between wall, we can select auto calc the room size, in which case it gives us 60 and a half and all 36s that, of course, can be changed. Uh, and stall depth will be 60 inches. All right, system uh, goes with the default sizes for doors, uh, sizes, and swings. So we hit go to layout editor. What the system does here is it actually draws a scaled layout of uh, what we are, what we have just entered. Now we're going to change our stall depth. We realize we need a 66 inch stall depth, so we'll hit submit. System accepts that and makes the appropriate change. All right, and we realize also that we want 25 inch doors and we want the standard doors to be left hand in swing coming off the shorter pilaster. Okay, we'll hit submit and you'll notice the system makes changes to both the, pa the, the door sizes but also the pilaster sizes to accommodate those. All right, and in this case we've got two 10 inch, a 12 inch, and a four. So we want some uniformity with the pilasters. We're going to change this to a 10 but we're also going to lock our two existing 10-inch pilasters. We'll hit Submit. The system makes the changes and passes that last two inches to the last pilaster. Okay, one more change we'll make here is we'll modify the initial gap from 0.75 to half an inch, which will give us integers for our drilling dimensions. Okay, we'll create a new room. In this case, uh, we'll call this, call this Ladies. one and hit select and that means we're going to pick the existing material hardware style and color and in this case we'll go with the corner within corner units we'll pick a left origin on this number of large stalls will be two stall depth will be 66 to keep with the previous layout number of small stalls will be three and small stall depth will be 54 uh, since we know we're going with 25 inch doors we'll change it here save ourselves a little bit of work we hit go to layout screen and here the system draws our layout okay and what we'll do here is we're going to uh, move the handicapped toilet we realize our toilet is on the should be on the other side so therefore we need to make a change there so we move the handicapped toilet and notice what happens with the front components it moves the door to the opposite side of the stall from the toilet all right um, <clears throat> that's as far as we're going to go at this point and we will um, say let's go to job complete Job complete enables us to get all the job drawings and all the job documents. We'll hit OK. And then it gives us an indication of what's going into the title block of the drawing. We'll hit submit. And the system will go ahead and print those and email them to us. Okay, so we've received our drawings. Uh, it took about a minute and a half for the uh, drawings and documents to process. So initially, uh, we'll take a look at the, the elevation, the powder coated steel standard hardware. Uh, so the first uh, plan drawing or layout drawing that we see is the men's room and we'll, we can notice that it's the same size and obviously bears all of the uh, 
characteristics of the changes we made. There's a 66 inch stall depth, 25 inch doors, the three 10 inch pilasters. Okay, and uh, then the, uh, the other uh, layout, which is the ladies room, which had two different stall depths, 66 and 54. And um, notice uh, just a few things. The headrails are indicated by the dashed lines and they are tagged by the system. We give the overall length and then we also indicate the stock sizes that make up that length in, in terms of installation. We show toilets, toilet centers, uh, the stall depths, uh, panel sizes, pilaster sizes, and door sizes, door swings as well. Okay, and the last thing we want to look at is the uh, quotation. And here's an itemized quotation uh, issued that, that includes the pilasters the doors, the panels, the total head rail length, and we, with, with the individual components, we have quantities, unit weight, total weight, unit price, total price, standard uh, general partitions uh, format, agent net cost, we will be including commission and freight and grand total with these. Uh, these uh, estimates can get as uh, complicated as they need to be. We, we, of course, can include net items, multiple materials and styles, etc. So that's the uh, presentation. We hope that you enjoyed it and we hope we can be of service to you and look forward to being in contact in the near future. Thank you.